Hello again! As you can see we are again at the portal and I want to quickly show you what I've improved in this design. Well, first let's start it, but uh, well, I have no torch at all and I'm in survival currently, so well, no problem. You see, in case you have no torch at all, it reminds you that you need to place a torch in here to start the portal. So now let's have a quick look at the outside. Here you can see the naked setup. I removed all blocks that are necessary and exchange a few with glass so you can see everything here. Uh, biggest changes are the double inverse butt above here. You remember it, right? This one here. It now gets activated by our upwards firing piston in the back, which normally would just start the change reaction which creates the bolts. Also, our piston which moves our deleter piston into the target area um, got this very very little add-on so now it can retract on its own without the need of making a delay of uh, the turn off button and uh, now I have two dispensers in case I haven't place a torch or lever in here. Of course levers still work. This dispenser will fire and will give you a torch or a lever and if you place something in here, a torch for example, the dispenser in the back will ignite the portal and as usual you can delete it. And here, just to prove it, Everything still works even with levers, so if you don't want to waste your redstone on your survival world. Yeah, um, I'm currently learning world edit, so expect a schematic or at least a world download in the description soon. And, oh yeah, to uh, those both buttons, of course. It's just a matter of correct wiring, you could place them anywhere, in any way you like. You could make a T flip flop and just have one button set up, whatever you want. Well, that's all. Thanks for watching. And see you next time.